be influenced by our nail color, our hair, modern style mixed with trendy pieces. And it was so good. First of all, it's in the color of the season. Walmart come through, baby, okay? <laughs> also picked up some black heels. If you have ever had children and had an epidural and the wear and tear it puts on your back, the back be backing. The model is a little more fanned out like a mermaid tail. Sophisticated, elevated. I was looking for a sunglass that was oval shaped. Now maxi dresses are on trend right now. It just hugs your curves just right. So I added texture and print. Leopard earrings here, a fringe medium sized bag. I'm pair this color with that faux leather brown skirt. Target did a great job when it comes to this set. And you would do this Zara bag, also very chic. It's giving old Hollywood. It's so good. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart. And my heart is where you are. I still think of you. Hey, 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 beauties. Welcome to my channel, The Softeners Brand. My name is Stephanie Diana. If you are new, welcome. My channel does focus on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's something you think you might be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those of you returning, hey, girls, welcome back. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for clicking on this video and checking it out today. So today's video is another styling haul. If you are new to this channel, all of my hauls are always styling hauls. I kind of show you guys what I pick up, show you how I will wear it in hopes to give you inspiration as to how you can style it as well. So I've been picking up a few things here and there for the last few months and I want to show you guys what's new in my wardrobe. I always tell you guys, when it comes to my style, I don't like to put myself in a box because I feel like with most women, we're so multifaceted. We have so many dimensions when it comes to our style. It could be influenced by our nail color, our hair, the weather, our mood, just a variety of things. So you pretty much get some of everything, <laughs> okay? But I will say the core of my style is edgy, chic, and modern. So if you like my style, I hope you gain some inspiration with some of these looks. All right, ladies, so we're gonna open with this fabulous blazer that I picked up. Now, I showed this in a previous vlog and I purchased it originally in a size extra large. It was too oversized. I assume that it may have been constricting because there's no stretch. It is like a satin material. This is called the Boyfriend Blazer and I definitely had to go back and get a size medium. So I'm currently wearing a medium. I love the fit, I love the cut. This is the perfect example of a modern style mixed with trendy pieces. Because you still have a strong design. It's structured, it has the shoulder pads that's not over exaggerated. I love that. It's a statement piece and the print itself has vibrant hues. It's not that dull animal print, but it's really vibrant. When it comes to modern style, these are classic types of pieces you wanna pick up. So the boxy shoulders and the silhouette of the vest itself is perfect when it comes to a modern style with a twist. I also love the lapel here, but it blends in so beautifully with the fabric and the print. I added more print by adding my leopard printed earrings from Zara. I don't think that it's overkill because I am wearing a black base. I do think having a black base just tones everything down so it's not overkill. For me, that's essential in my wardrobe when it comes to my style. It's like having a blank canvas. I can do whatever I want to it and it's gonna look good, it's gonna pop. So you also can just do like basic gold standard earrings. You can do small studs, you can do hoops. Um, but for me, I just kind of wanted a little more edge and a little more character. So I went all out with the earring statement piece as well. So I have two statement pieces here, but everything else is just toned down, basic and blank. In the picture you guys are seeing, I am wearing my baggy jeans. These are a semi-barrel jean. Um, not so much a horseshoe or anything like that, but definitely semi-barrel. It has that barrel effect, but it's not overkill. So if you're the type of girl that don't really wanna try the barrel trend, I think a good baggy jean like this is perfect. 
um i picked these up from urban outfitters recently and i love them i love the wash it's like that ashy wash black denim just so good it definitely gives me vintage which goes so well with my modern classic style you can wear trainers with these types of jeans you can wear heels with them pumps strappy heels the whole nine I love a good fitted blazer with baggy jeans or barrel jeans, which you guys will see again in this video. But this blazer is everything. It does have faux pockets here. If you want more of an oversized fit, like if I were to get the large, I would likely cinch it with an oversized black belt. Just cinch it some more at the waist. And then wear like some wide leg jeans or trousers. Also can wear it with a fitted skirt, like a pencil skirt, with the belt cinched at the waist or without if you choose a more fitted blazer. So it's just so many options when it comes to this. These next three pieces I picked up, I'm loving definitely keepers. Now this top is Zara. I love this exaggerated mock neck or turtleneck. It just sits there, y'all. It's so good. It just sits in place. Like I don't have to do anything. It's real stretchy. I got it in a size large. This is the largest size it comes in. Just a real easy, fun piece. You can definitely wear a long sleeve top underneath. So this is great for layering and you can wear it vest style. So elevated and easy, like perfect for an elevated casual, which you guys know is one of my favorite styles to wear. And I recently paired this with this skirt. The skirt I got from Pretty Little Thing. I am obsessed with this detail. It looks like quality material. Now it is a little stiff, just a little bit, and there is really no stretch to this. I got mine in a size US 8, and it also is a petite. So I am only 5'3 and a half, guys. I keep telling you that. So it literally falls right where it needs to be on me lengthwise. The only thing I did not like, when it comes to the model, versus when I got it. On the model, it's a little more fanned out, like a mermaid tail on the bottom. But on me, it doesn't do that. It does have a slit here in the back, which I like. So it'll show, you know, a little hint of your boot or your shoe. I paired mine with some croc embossed brown boots to give it a little more texture. I thought that was perfect. It is faux leather, but it's not like that buttery soft faux leather. But it isn't bad at all. Um, it does have a zip closure here in the back. I love pairing brown and black. I just think it's such a sophisticated, elevated color combination. And it always looks rich to me. <laughs> I just love to pair the two. But to add a little more edge, because you guys know edginess is like the root of my style, okay? So I paired it with these oversized teardrop earrings I got from Target recently. And I paired it with these red sunglasses I picked up from Amazon. Y'all, these are so retro. I was looking for a sunglass that was oval shape. I wanted dark tint, and I just wanted a nice, clean, sleek arm. And I like this little detail in the arm. So these were so good. I paired it with a red lip, which made it pop even more. And I took pics, and which you guys should be seeing here on the side, and the look turned out amazing. I got so many compliments while in the city taking pictures. It's just a vibe. Definitely 90s retro throwback. It's giving old school Lil' Kim, Mary J. Blige. That's what it's giving. So I love the play on the burgundy, black, and brown. That's a great combination for fall. For an easy, elevated casual, you can pair this with some wild leg joggers or even some wild leg trousers, or you can pair it with wild leg denim jeans and it'll be perfect. If you're not an exaggerated collar type of girl, you can always fold the collar down. 
and still obtain an elevated casual look. Okay guys, so everyone knows you need to have that classic black dress in your wardrobe. Midi dress, maxi dress, what have you. Now maxi dresses are on trend right now. They are so elegant and timeless really. I don't really like to consider them a trend, but maxi dresses are trending right now and you can never go wrong with a classic black dress. I am the type of person, I like quality over quantity. That's just my personal preference. If I'm going to invest in something, I want it to be of quality. This dress is from Affirm. I love Affirm's quality. I've been shopping Affirm for years, y'all. I'm talking at least a good, maybe nine plus years. Affirm's quality, it just hugs your curves just right. It gives you that perfect silhouette. I actually could size down in this dress. This is in an extra large and I definitely could size down to a large. I used to be an extra large, but apparently I'm losing weight. Who knew, girl? <laughs> I'm not mad at it. So I did get this in an extra large, which I thought was my regular size. But again, I could size down. As you guys can see, it's very stretchy and I have a lot of room in the back. This is just a tad bit too big, but it still looks amazing. I love a firm. With a simple black dress, girls, you can do some of any and everything with it. You can elevate it or you can keep it classy. You can wear trainers with these. You can wear moto jackets, oversized moto jackets. You can wear blazers, vest on top. It's just so many ways to style these simple pieces printed jackets, bold necklaces for a bolder neckline, or bold statement earring pieces would elevate this look. If it's a midi dress, then over the knee boots would elevate it. Or just adding simple textures, patterns, and prints to it will take it up 10 notches. I want it to just completely elevate the look, so I added texture and print. The print is in my oversized leopard earrings here from Zara. Love these so much. Look at that. Classy. And I paired it with this fringe medium sized bag that I recently picked up from Zara. Now, there's a couple things about this bag. So, <laughs> one, I feel like the advertisement was a little misleading on Zara. Um, they described it as kind of like a boho bag, which it is a boho bag, but it's not oversized. It's a medium sized bag, medium to large. Large in the length because it stops right here at my waist. The strap fits to you. So if you're looking for an alternative to a clutch, this will be a great bag or a great option. So you can still wear this to a nice dinner and it's not overkill. Like it's not a big city bag or an everyday bag you would carry, but it's the perfect size. I don't have a medium size fringe bag. I'm still going to get a boho large, like extra large bag. I'm still gonna get that. Um, and I want it in black or chocolate brown. But for now, I am gonna keep this bag because again, she's so cute. Now, she does not zip. She has a button closure, which I don't care for bags like that. A compartment on the inside here. And that's about as deep as she goes. I would also, also add texture in my shoe. Now girls, if you have ever had children and had an epidural, <laughs> or if you are busty, you know the strain and the wear and tear it puts on your back, okay? Or it has put on your back. The back be backing, it be backing girl. My back be hurting sometimes. So I don't mind wearing a wedge heel. I don't wanna compromise the style or the fashion. Like I don't want it to look matronly. So I like a wedge heel with a little bit of flavor. I added these fur wedges and it was so good. First of all, it's in the color of the season. And I like that there's no strap between the toes so my foot is not sliding and it's like catching in between your big toe and your second toe. I love that. <laughs> and the wedge is doable. The height is great. The arch is supported. So great for the back. 
I wanted to get the ones from the star site, but the girls sold those out so fast, y'all. They sold them out too fast. And the fact that they look like the Zara heels, I wasn't mad at that. And they really don't shed. I thought that they were gonna shed everywhere. I wore them all night for at least about six hours and they did not shed. I may have seen a small little patch, just a small little piece of a feather on the ground. That was it. They don't shed, they don't make like a loud clicking sound. They're your typical wedge. So I am not mad at these. I will have these linked below for you guys as well. Walmart come through, baby, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I got these from Walmart. I also picked up some black heels and I've been loving these. Now these are not a wedge, but the heel, the arch, the height, it's very comfortable for me. I can appreciate that. The hook here actually hooks on so you're not having to like strap it up or anything. You don't have to do this. It literally just hooks on. So I got mine in a 39 and in the burgundy shoe, I got a seven and a half and it fits perfect. A red lip completed this look. So I wanna show you guys a few things that I got from Target that I'm loving and show you how I would style it. So I'm gonna start with this turtleneck. Y'all, this color, just a pretty mauve, so chic. I love this color in spring, summer, winter, and fall, girl. It complements my skin tone because I have red undertones. It even matches my lip color, y'all. Today's lip color, I'm wearing the Suede NYX Lip Pencil in the color Vintage. I'm wearing the NYX Soft Matte Creamy Lipstick in the color London. And I paired my Bobbi Brown Hope Cocoa on top to warm it up. And it turned out just like a pretty, pretty pink. Luscious soft lips, that's what I was going for, so. So I'm gonna remove the blazer really quick so I can show you guys. It's just so good. I would pair this color with that faux leather brown skirt. Not typically this turtleneck because it's a little oversized, but if I were to wear this together, I would need to size down on this because I would want it to be really fitted, like really tight. It's a little loose. I'm wearing a medium, so it's a little oversized for me because usually I wear a large. But I think these colors are so pretty together. A nice brown boot would complete this look. I would wear it with maroon or burgundy. So burgundy or maroon would be my main color and then the mauve color would be my primary base. So good. You certainly can cinch it and just button your blazer. Or you can wear it open. I love a nice fitted but slightly oversized blazer. I think that is just so chic, definitely elevated classy you can't go wrong oversized blazers in fall are chef's kiss like fall and oversized blazers go together just like fall and trench coats go together like you you gotta have both you gotta have both <laughs> they need to both be in your wardrobe at some point i would also wear this with some wild leg jeans now if you are not comfortable with wild leg jeans because i've had people tell me you know the jeans are just a little too big or a little too wild leg for me not really my style i totally get it a good way to incorporate wild leg jeans if you want to try the trend is to get it high waisted that actually helps to kind of tone the jean down a little bit or make sure you're not going for a jean that has distressing in it. So you want like a solid jean. And I wouldn't go for a lighter jean like what I'm wearing here. I would do more of a medium to darker wash. And that kind of tones it down so you can kind of ease your way into the trend. Um, but it's been trending for quite some time now. Um, you know, we're off skinny jeans and that's just been trending for quite some time. And I hope it never goes out of style because I've always loved wide leg jeans. I've always loved bell bottoms. That has just always been my thing. So I think for me, I have to have some type of distressing. These jeans I'm wearing are so old. I found them on a boutique on Instagram in 2020 and the quality was just so amazing. It blew me away. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so I was so happy I scored with these. I just wish I had them in multiple washes 
This is a lighter wash. If you want to not really wear white, but you still want to have a lighter wash denim in your wardrobe, this is a great alternative just to go completely light in your wash. This is closer to a white for me, but I really do like the play on the colors. But you guys know the lighter the wash, you do tend to look a little more heavier. Okay, it's gonna add some pounds to you, so just be mindful of that. To break up some of the lighter wash, I really enjoyed the distressing in this particular jean. Now, I love this color combination. I think it's so chic, just so feminine, ultra feminine is what it's giving me. Again, it's a great alternative to white. I don't wanna do white, so perfect for fall. I would also wear it as just a full on suit. I love to be suited in fall and winter. I just think that is just the most classiest thing you can do. And you can mix and match. You can always mix and match, which is great. So you get more cost per wear, you get more wear out of your pieces. Now these, I haven't worn yet. The tags are still on them, but I got these in a size US 8. And it is elastic at the waist. It does have a little bit of pleating in front which I like. I like pleated fronts and I also like flat fronts. Pleating somehow makes more sense for me in fall. I just love that detail and I think it elevates the look and it adds a little more interest to your look as well. Target did a great job when it comes to this set and you guys know this is the color of the season so you definitely cannot go wrong. If I were to wear it as a suit, I would definitely wear pumps with this. You can do brown as well, but when it comes to this suit, I think a black bag and a black pump or a black shoe is just perfect for me, okay, for me. You can also wear other colors, but for me, I just like black. The black bags tie in with the black shoe, and again, it's just so chic, definitely my vibes. I would do two options here when it comes to the bag. So I would wear my oversized hoop earrings, which you guys are seeing in the video, and I would do either my Chanel vanity bag with the gold hardware so so good with this or I would do this Zara bag also very chic love it I just love this gold handle here I think they brought this bag back in stock um maybe some weeks ago I can't remember I got this back in oh I think it was last winter yeah, I got this last winter. So Zara brought it back. Hopefully it's still available. If it is, I'll link it for y'all. But it's such a good piece. I told y'all to get this bag. This bag is good. Anyway, I would do one or the other with a black pump. Just add a nice chic bag with great detailing. I love the gold hardware. It's gonna elevate the look every time. Another piece I picked up from Zara, y'all. I fell in love the second I saw this dress and it was only $39. I really thought that this would cost more. It's giving old Hollywood, very much old money. <laughs> Such a classic piece. I love the thick band here around the neck. I love this detail. It's that simple detail for me. It definitely creates more of a modern look for the modern woman. But oh my gosh, y'all, imagine a red lip. A red lip with this is definitely giving Dorothy Dandridge. Like it's giving old Hollywood classic vibes. Marilyn Monroe, love it. I love the length of this. I would likely wear pumps or strappy heels. I actually was looking for pumps that had black and white detail because I kind of wanted to tie the whole look in together, which is a full on classic look. Definitely would do some studs with this and likely some simple jewelry. So in the video here, I paired it with my thick cuff, but I would likely do more simple sleek bracelets only because I just want to keep this look very simple, very classic and clean. It's this band for me. So classy, perfect for weddings, perfect for upscale events. I know it's getting colder outside, so having all of your arms out and your back out isn't ideal, but this is definitely one that I needed to put in my wardrobe because she's gonna be coming out spring, summer, okay? Definitely. So classy. And it goes so well with my pixie cut, but I would suggest maybe a bun or a bob, something off the shoulders, of course, because you want to show off this beautiful neckline.
all right guys so that concludes the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i appreciate you don't forget to check the description box like comment subscribe share with the family and friend help your sis grow okay and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys